Good evening. My name is Jordan Ziegler, and I am the president of the Andrea Roblino Sheridan Chapter of the National Honor Society. On behalf of NHS, I would like to welcome parents, inductees, faculty, and family members to the 2021 induction ceremony for the Andrea Roblino Sheridan Chapter of the National Honor Society. At this time, I will ask you all to please rise and join Anthony Zhang in saluting the flag. Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Star Spangled Banner performed by Leah Duffill, a freshman in the Fashion Design and Merchandising Program. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bones bursting Thank you. We are gathered here this evening to recognize the accomplishments of this year's National Honor Society inductees. As you will hear shortly, induction into the National Honor Society is not merely an academic achievement. Students need to demonstrate service, leadership, and character as well. Together with scholarship, these make up the four pillars of the National Honor Society. I would like to begin by acknowledging a few notable individuals who have made this evening possible. Dr. Lerner, our superintendent of the Burton County Technical Schools and Special Services School District, and Ms. Sheridan, our former principal, current assistant superintendent, as well as our chapter namesake. Without the support of both individuals, our school would not be where it is today. We would also like to acknowledge our school's administration, Mr. Tankard, our principal, Ms. Cabanilla Alves, our supervisor of instruction, Mr. Castiglia, our vice principal. I will now gladly introduce our NHS executive board, Tula Nicholson, Vice President, Anthony Zhang, Treasurer, and Howard Kim, Secretary. Students enter Bergen Tech as freshmen with a world of opportunities open to them. As they learn from their teachers and are encouraged by their family and friends, they grow and begin forging their own path. In the case of our National Honor Society inductees, they light the way for others. The light of our inductees shines bright in their scholarship, service, leadership, and character. We have our NHS officers here tonight to speak on our four pillars of NHS. Howard Kim will now speak about scholarship. Good evening, everybody. I am honored to be asked to speak to y'all tonight. I would like to begin by congratulating the new inductees and their families. Being a member of the NHS and an officer for this past year has given me a huge sense of accomplishment. It has been one of my favorite parts of my high school career. As a member of the NHS, I know that I am part of something bigger than myself. It has provided me with opportunities to meet and network with other people, and has provided a good experience of working in a group toward a common goal. I am proud of this achievement, and you all should be as well. 
The first pillar of the NHS is scholarship. From the perspectives of other people, they think that scholarship is about money and perfection. To me, scholarship means opportunity. It is the prospect of educational benefit and enhancing your life. Being a scholar is about so much more than just getting good grades. Some may picture a scholar as someone who always has their nose in a book, but that's not an accurate representation. Scholarship is about being innovative and creative. It is about being excited about new information. When people have a thirst for knowledge, they are capable of all kinds of amazing things. Take Bill Gates, for example. Bill Gates may not be considered a typical scholar. He did not graduate from college. However, his love of learning motivated him to create new products that changed the world forever. In his life, he has overcome many obstacles. He did not let doubt or anxiety get him down. He trusted that all of the things he had learned throughout his life would be relevant and come to help him eventually. It is my wish for you that you will continue to learn and grow throughout your life. Never lose the enthusiasm for knowledge. Always try your hardest, but not just to get an A. Maybe someday what you will learn will help you invent something new, solve a problem, or change the world for the better. Congratulations again, and good luck in all of your future endeavors. Thank you, Howard. Anthony Zhang will now speak about the second pillar, service. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Anthony Zhang. I'm a senior in the Law and Justice major here at Bergen Tech. And first, I would like to congratulate our 2021 National Honor Society inductees. All of you have worked hard to be where you are today. You have slogged through countless hours of study, devoted your time to a myriad of clubs, sports, organizations, and, of course, Bergen Tech itself. Many of you will aspire to even greater heights, however, to act as the presidents of your clubs, as the captains on your teams, and as leading members of the Bergen Tech community. Fundamentally, you have displayed a willingness and a desire to serve others, to give back and serve your community, whatever and wherever they may be, and in the greatest capacity that you can manage. That this desire to serve is so rampant among the best and brightest in each year's inductees is a shining example of why service is one of the four fundamental pillars of our National Honor Society. My predecessor quoted Martin Luther King Jr. in saying that, quote, everybody can be great because anybody can serve, end quote. I would argue one step further. Mahatma Gandhi once said, quote, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others, end quote. Well, that's easy to say from here, from the bully pulpit from which I can interact with all of you. But the truth of the matter is, service is difficult. To lose oneself in the service of others is a taxing affair. And as such, it is that much more impressive that all of you have exhibited such qualities. It is my hope that the service which you have demonstrated thus far will carry you through your remaining high school career, onwards to college, and beyond. Such is the foundation of your induction today. Once again, I congratulate you all on your induction into the Andrea Sheridan Rublino chapter of the National Honor Society, and I wish you the best going forward. Thank you, Anthony. I will now speak about the third pillar, leadership. So, what is leadership? I think that it is a combination of many qualities, including a passion for guiding others, driving growth, and inspiring others to follow in their footsteps. Leaders do not sit by idly if there is a problem. They face it head on and get others to join in their endeavor. As President Ronald Reagan once said, the greatest leader is not necessarily the one who does the greatest things. They are the one that gets the people to do the greatest things. I ran for NHS president because I wanted to make a difference in my last two months at Bergen Tech. I challenged the next leader who was going to carry the torch to continue the great legacy of this chapter and everything that it stands for. From the moment you entered Bergen Tech in ninth grade, you began to cultivate your qualities as a leader and it has culminated in this moment. You have grown as leaders, whether as the captain of a sports team, a tutor, or someone that your classmates look to for guidance. You are the group of students that are not afraid to have their voices heard and are willing to speak on behalf of the students that need a voice. Martin Luther King Jr. once said that our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. At this moment in our history, we need leaders who are ready and willing to fight for the things that truly matter. I implore you to stand up and fight for what you believe in as the next generation of leaders. If you are graduating in a few days or next year, I'm extremely confident 
that all of you possess the qualities that a leader must possess. Congratulations to all of you on your acceptance into this chapter of the National Honor Society, and I look forward to seeing you as the great leaders that I know you will become. Tula will now speak about character. Good evening, NHS inductees, and congratulations. My name is Tula Nicholson. I'm a senior in the Law and Justice major and the Vice President of BT's chapter of the National Honor Society. Today, I will be speaking about the fourth pillar of NHS, character. Character is who you are when you think no one is looking. It has to do with your values and how you put them into practice. As members of the National Honor Society, there are many values we should aspire to embody in our day-to-day -day lives. Kindness, integrity, courage, resilience, your character will help you answer all types of important questions. When you see someone struggling, will you lend them a hand? When you're presented with a challenge, will you back down? And when you fall down, will you get back up? The content of your character will determine how you answer each of these questions and more. It will guide your decision making each and every day. Now you're all here today largely in part due to your academic successes. But you're also here because you are caring friends, thoughtful siblings, and selfless volunteers. Your success has been multidimensional, so don't let the academic aspect distract from all the good you've put into the world, all that you've done for your family, your friends, and your community. Today we are celebrating all of these accomplishments. The last thing I want to leave you with today is a piece of advice. As you reflect on what it means to be a member of NHS, don't get overwhelmed by thinking of character as some unachievable golden standard. A big part of character is understanding that no one is perfect and not allowing your mistakes to hold you back or define you. John Wooden once said, be more concerned with your character than your reputation. Character is what you really are. Reputation is what people say you are. It is never too late to lead your life with virtue. Once again, I'd like to commend you all for being inducted into the National Honor Society. I am confident that you will all go on to do great things. We will now read the names of this year's inductees. Juan Aguitos. Adrian Aviles. Matthew Ballastier. Henry Baccarizzo Kaylee Barrera Christine Baytar Peter Biscup Verena Botros Joy Botros Joseph Caputi Lauren Carrillo Fiorella Castillo Gabriela Castro Jonathan Cho Thomas Cho Bijou Choi Lynn Choi Albert Choi Cole Christiana Kaylee Chung Isabella Cormio
Michael Costanza. Natalie Quartas. Lee Ding. Jason Delgado. Miriam Demian. Olivia Drezak. Luke Duffel. Daniel Edis. HRH Prince Zayn El Hashemite. Bilal El Timza. Emily Falcone. Anastasia Fontaigne. Sophia Francisco. David George. Dylan Gerber. Ari Jean Balaj. Sai Goganeni. Samantha Gomez. Nolan Griffith. Michael Giuliano. Ian Guo. Jonathan Goliak. Tavi Herzog. Essay Etiette. Tyler Jan. Kristen Jan. Justin Jane. Han Gil G. Wean Jin. Alyssa King. Brandon King. Clarita Capage. Robert Kapanos. Noah Kim. Madison Kong. Harichanda Kothamasu. Matthew Kukarek. Adam Kaczynski. Andrew Liu. Chelsea Lopez. Veronica Masiag. Jenna Mattern. 
Natalie Mazgaj. Akshay Mehta. Ashley Meggia. Gianna Muir. Tara Modi. Faith Mint. Inhu Na. Ashley O'Hagan. Natalie Anofri. Mia Pally. Janice Park. Sarah Park. Justin Park. Ashley Park. Lindsay Paulson. Edward Pena. Autumn Pirelli. Danella Pirelli. Michelle Pham. Evelyn Pierce. Russell Powley. Frank Pachowski. Maria Pundik. Enrique Ramirez. Emma Rock. Katie Rock. Nicola Sencilio. Sophia Santos. Alexa Scaravilli. Nico Scherer. Thomas Schmidt. Natalia Sendowy. Adam Senzen. Tyler Senzen. Emma Shen. Ju Young Shim. Christian Sickengo. Condre Small. Oliver Sun. Brandon Sun. Janelle Texan. Alina Therian. Gabrielle Thibault. Tarek Tozen. Jorge Ventura. Vivel Vishaganov. Charles Westlake. Caleb Williams Anderson. Raymond Zhang. Now let us take the National Honor Society pledge. I pledge myself to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society 
to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal to my school and will maintain and encourage high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Congratulations. I am proud to present to you the new members of Bergen County Technical High School's National Honor Society. Those in the audience and relatives and role models have nurtured and encouraged these students, which is so vital to our school and community. On behalf of our inductees, we would like to extend our gratitude. We, the NHS Executive Board, thank you all for your hard work, leadership, and dedication to the National Honor Society. I would also like to thank and congratulate the parents and guardians and family members who have helped raise, encourage, and support these wonderful students. We have thoroughly enjoyed sharing this special evening with you. Have a good night.